But let's move into the next segment. We're going to welcome in Jake on the next segment. So if you do want to become a patron like Jake, check out patreon.com slash most about podcast. We appreciate it. So if you did, uh, we'd appreciate it if you did so. Um, at least check it out. You know, check out, the, check out the website. See what we got going on. We got a lot of great stuff. The bronze, silver, and gold tiers. But let's jump into our favorite segment mm-hmm. of the week. It is Wet Voices, where we talk about guys that absolutely popped off, had historic performances, had crazy games. These are the wettest of boys. These are the dampest of dudes. The soggiest of shooters. The moistest of men. These are our Wet Boys. Ricky Whitmer, start us off with yeah, your you know, Wet Boy. Mine, Dave, is going to sit here to my left and say that I don't even know how this guy could be a Wet Boy because, I mean, only 20 points per game this week, so isn't... A huge wet boy, if you look at the stats. But to me, it's Clay Thompson. The last two games for the Warriors, they would not have won these games. I know Steph went off in the last game, second half, didn't even go off in the first half. But Clay Thompson coming up huge in that game five to then get them to the 3-2. And he kind of held the game at serve and was like, hey, Clay, or hey, Steph, it's okay. I'm going to keep them at bay until you go off in the second half. And the Warriors were going to warrior with KD, without KD. KD was there. KD wasn't there. You know what? They're still going to win. Clay Thompson, first wet boy, I believe, of the playoffs for big boy Clay, Or Squidward's house, because his head kind of looks like Squidward's house. Shocker, Ricky picks a warrior. Yeah. A warrior, bull, or a rookie. Um, it's, first, it's just ridiculous. What? This is the first warrior I think I've picked nope. in the playoffs? Kevin Durant. Oh, did I pick Kevin Durant? Yeah, you picked Kevin Durant. <laughs> I know I didn't pick Steph Curry. No, you haven't picked Steph Curry, no. which has been shocking. That's nice. You picked second warrior. You I picked, picked Derek White, Kawhi uh-huh. Leonard, and and Clay Thompson. And Kevin so I'm Durant. sticking to the Western Conference too. I've got a Western Conference thing going on this year. Well, outside of Kawhi Leonard, yeah, okay. most of my picks have been from the West. Fifty percent of your picks have been Golden State Warriors. Uh, Dave, let's get into sure. a play. I'm going with Jimmy Butler. I mean, I know the results haven't spoken for themselves because they are uh, as I record this. Uh, two losses, just one win in the past three games uh, for the past week. But still, Jimmy's been amazing. Jimmy's been the heart of the team. Jimmy does it all for them. Jimmy is the guy on the team. Jimmy's going to get that contract. Jimmy's going to get all that money. The G stands for buckets, Dave. Stands for buckets. What? That's, that's the Jimmy line. Jimmy G. Jimmy G buckets. Yeah, but he was doing the Seinfeld bit. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then I said the G stands for buckets. Yeah, whatever. It's stupid. <laughs> um, well, fifty percent of your wet boys have been Jimmy Butler. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's two weeks. Of that seems right though. And you also had Steph Curry. Yeah. So the one week Ricky couldn't pick Steph Curry because you already did. So yeah. um, Ricky could have had just seventy five percent Warriors if you, if you didn't pick Steph Curry. Sorry about that, Ricky. <laughs> that was the week I picked Derek White as yeah. my wet boy. Yeah. <laughs> Very convincing. He had a good. I feel like I jinxed him. He was having a good time, and then I gave him a wet boy honor, and then he kind of shit the bed against mm-hmm. the Nuggets. Play fine. Um, just Jokic is better, and 50% of my wet boys have been Jokic. I'm going away from that trend, though. I'm going with Giannis. Giannis deserves some tr- credit because, I don't know, he just w- you know pulled four straight wins off against the Boston Celtics. It's just Boston. Fourth um, total wet boy for Giannis this year. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous that he's not getting more. Uh, he's been absolutely fantastic. And his team, uh, you know, they, they lose game one. They bounce back immediately. In those past two games, he had 30 points, 12 boards, 6 of 6, 64% from the field, 73% from the line, uh, under 30% from three. But you don't expect him to be shooting a ton of threes at a high high efficient rate, although mm-hmm. he was pretty decent near the end at of the season. At least he shoots them. He does. Um, Giannis is fantastic. Giannis is probably the best player. <laughs> He might, he might, might be the best player in the, the East. It's, it's either him or Kawhi. Kawhi, um, who doesn't get a white boy on it this week, uh, because Ricky likes Clay Thompson. Well, Kevin Durant didn't either. Kevin Durant was worthy of one. Jokic Kevin was Durant still worthy of one. So like that's that's less between before, memory. He was averaging like thirty five points per game before he got hurt. I'm just saying. I know, but like both, even both even with KD a game he didn't finish, and he still Kawhi played Leonard great. were both worthy of a white boy this week. So was Damian Lillard. Yeah. Um, a lot of worthy candidates, and I, I would it's just feel really good bad if Giannis didn't. It's been a great playoffs. Like I, I'm surprised at like we More, were all like right off the playoffs is just going to be the fucking Warriors. Not, here's the question I thought in my head, and this has been the past few weeks. Yeah, are the playoffs more entertaining when LeBron's not in them? No, I don't know. I don't think they're entertaining because LeBron's not in them because that would just be one series. LeBron in the playoffs has been entertaining as well. Like he's given yeah. us some of the best moments. In but the I mean, decade. for me, I feel like especially maybe this is me just overanalyzing the East. Sure. Besides for maybe Bucks and um, Bucks and Celtics to a degree, like this Raptor 76er series has been a great series to watch. Yeah. You've had everything in the West, like the Nuggets series, both of them going down to the wire. Into Game 7. The Trailblazers series have been 
great. The even Rockets Warriors games have been fun to watch to where it's like, I feel like maybe it's just Warriors me. Warriors Clippers too. Like, oh, and Warriors yeah. Clippers. But it's like, with LeBron not being there, there's not like that, well, they swept this one, they swept that one. Um, besides, like, let's say last year was LeBron's biggest if, hurdles. If LeBron was in the East this year, it'd still be entertaining. Because, I mean, he'd still struggle against those teams. If yeah. the Cavs were in mm-hmm. it, they'd still be struggling. It, it'd, still be, it'd still be a fun series um, if LeBron was in it. I mean, I, I don't think it's because LeBron's not there. I think just the teams are better. Um, and you're actually getting more competitive basketball. And that's not because LeBron. That's just one team yeah. out of the 16 that make it. I don't think LeBron's really, you know, carrying and deciding whether it's it's exciting or not because you know that just means more talents in the playoffs the best player in the nba is in the playoffs i mean that's just going to make it more exciting so um no i i disagree with that take um that it's more exciting without lebron or because lebron's out in there um it has been more exciting though and and i would have loved if the rockets won that game last night Mm -hmm. that way we could have had three game sevens on on, on mother's day that would have been fantastic but let's talk about at least two of them uh, and get get some predictions. Raptors and Sixers. Um, we'll be talking to Jake soon, so we'll get his prediction too. Um, we'll probably give ours just to just in that one too, just to mm-hmm. kind yeah, of we tie everything up. Yeah. Um, but going into that, Ricky, who do you have? Raptors or Sixers? This is the one series where I kind like I have a dog in the fight where I want the Raptors to win this game. I want the Raptors to move on. But there's also a part of me that's like, I wouldn't be upset if the 76ers won because Bucks 76ers this year have Fantastic. been phenomenal yeah. even in the regular season. Hopefully yeah. Embiid um, can stay healthy and not being getting IVs at 6.30 a.m. And yeah. also, if Kawhi loses, that creates more storylines in the offseason. So really, I don't care who wins it, but I'm sorry, Jake. I really, really, really do want the Raptors to beat the 76ers and for them to go home. So that way Brett Brown gets fired. Yes. There's that. You're just then, rooting for and, somebody to well, lose, basically. And then it's like, like well, I want Kawhi. I want the say Toronto to lose Kawhi mm-hmm. Leonard. Or I, want, or I want Brett Brown to lose his job. And then there's also the Ben I Simmons like either talks. way, you're happy coming out of this. If Sixers lose, the do you trade Ben Simmons it's conversations true. happen. Do you so, give Jimmy and Max? Do you mm, give Toby some money? Exactly. Exactly. So it's like, we just want somebody to lose this series. It's just who do we want to lose? I, I th- want the Raptors to lose. <laughs> That's the thing is like, I, I think Kawhi, I, I would, I'm rooting for Kawhi, although I bashed him so much last season. Yeah. Um, I love watching him play. And that was my big reason why I was so pissed at him because I just wanted to see him play. Yep. Um, but looking at it, I mean, I, I think that I don't think Brett Brown gets f- fired if they lose the series. Um, I'm, I'll take the Raptors to win one oh five one oh one. I wouldn't be shocked if the Ra- uh, the Sixers did win. I think it's all just going to be dependent on Joel Embiid's health because if he's healthy, he's going to take out Siakam and he's going to be able to score a ton of points. So uh, that's going to be the biggest key. I don't think it's Ben Simmons. I don't think it's uh, Tobias Harris shooting from the outside. I don't think it's Jimmy Butler. I don't think it's Kawhi Leonard taking over. I don't think it's Kyrie, Kyle Lowry. If Embiid's give, healthy, he can dominate that game. Give me the driest of dude games from Kyle Lowry, and I will be happy. That's what's going to happen. But it's in Toronto, man. I, I understand. I know what I'm asking for, mm-hmm. though. I want I want the driest of dudes game out of Kyle Lowry <laughs> to end the Raptors postseason. The one contract that is immovable for the Raptors because nobody wants it. And it's not movable. I mean, you could always move that shit. I, I think I think immovable contract should be mm-hmm. reserved for the super maxes of John Wall. <laughs> Um, and let's move now to Denver and Portland. Who do you guys have to win this game? I want Portland to win it. I want. Well, who do you see... think's gonna win? Uh, who do you? Who so do you want? I am gonna say I. If I gave percentages, the Nuggets is who I would give the percentage to because they're playing in Denver, and usually you get um, better performances from your bench role players at home than you do on the road. But I want to see Portland. I'm gonna actually pick Portland because of what I want to see. I want to see this team of Dame and CJ go up against the Warriors. Plus, I want to see Seth and Steph going at it in a Western Conference Finals. Would they be on the floor at the same time? Probably not. Maybe. Oh, they're going to uh, be. They're, but at it's some like, point in time, there's a lot of minutes. At that time, mom and dad have a uh, tough decision to make because uh, really, they're going to be no, no, they're going to be at the game. Yeah. Like they've been at both games. Yeah. But does one wear Warriors while the other wears uh, Rip City? Yes. Or do they That's wear? So easy. Or do they wear like? Okay, we're in Golden State for this one. We're wearing Golden State clothes. We're in Portland for this game. We're we're in Portland. Like, no. what? What is the fashion gonna be like no. for mom and dad? It's gonna be split, and the dad's <laughs> gonna wear the Steph jersey, and the mom, because she's nice, gonna is gonna wear, wear the Seth, Seth jersey. <laughs> because we all know if she had a choice, probably not gonna wear the Seth. Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm taking the Nuggets. Yeah, I, I'm, I just, yeah, I just, I love. They're a young team. They're fun. 
and they've got the best player in the series. My my favorite. I love that you said that. My favorite thing uh, from from game six of that was that like everyone on the Nuggets like I think there was like you know you look at the the plus minuses like at worst I think someone was like a minus seven and then you look at Will Barton he's minus twenty five and you're like so what the, the fuck? Um, also with the fucking finger in the face it's like really really Will yeah, really he, we, bitch. We, we we gonna throw that shit around here? The biggest thing is if Jokic takes over which he has done multiple games and he's he's been scoring they're they're gonna win and I think I think I'll take the Nuggets too and I want the Nuggets to win I think Nuggets versus Golden State would be fun Portland versus Golden State would be fun too i mean it's, it's gonna be a fun series no matter what um hopefully it's just close games i just don't want to blow out in any of these game sevens i'll take nuggets 121 15 here's a question i want to ask you guys out of the teams that we think will remain after the final four so let's say for the sake denver um we, we split on seven, everything we'll, else. we'll say 76ers in denver milwaukee which one it or if multiple have the best chance to knock off the Warriors. I the Eastern Conference teams. I'll I'll take the Bucks. I'll take the Sixers. I think the Bucks. I think both of those teams would be great matchups against the Warriors. Because I'm I'm sitting there, the only team I want. Like I don't think Denver. Denver might bring them to like six, but they're not going to be a team there's that beats them. Inexperience is what concerns me. They're, I, there's turnover happy. I kind of really want to see Bucks Warriors in that finals. Yeah. I want to see that Bucks team go up against KD, obviously being there. KD and the Warriors, hopefully with Demarcus Cousins out there too. Yeah, because he I, could come back for the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, they're saying he's, he's <laughs> might be right. They're saying KD's probably gonna be good for the the Western Conference Finals too. So, <laughs> um, I, I think Milwaukee has the best chance just because you got to go with the best player, and it's either him mm-hmm. or him or uh, Kawhi. But I think if we're looking at the you know best players, I think that's really close between him and Kawhi. And then if we're looking at teams, it's it's clearly Milwaukee mm-hmm. um, behind them. So I, I think Milwaukee probably has the best chance uh, of beating them. Uh, anyways, let us know who you think is going to win the game sevens. It's probably not going to come out soon enough, but whatever. Let us know who you think is going to win the game sevens, and you'll see at least if we're wrong. And then let us know who you think has the best shot of dethroning the Warriors now that they are going to the Western Conference Finals.